welcome all of you guys to our lesson today, which is about the environment. So, before coming to the main lesson, we have a part called Walk Earth, and in this part, I would like you to look at the before and after pictures of a river in our city, and tell me what you can see of what changes it has made so far. And second, which was the biggest improvement you can easily see, uh, which was the easiest to do, or uh, which was the most difficult, and write down your answer on the paper. Okay, so that's all for the warm up session. And next, we come to the lesson A. Going green. Do you know exactly what going green means? It means the process of using products that makes the environment cleaner and friendlier. And yes, the first part of the lesson is the vocabulary section, which is the environmental impact of our land take the categories for you to use in this lecture. Okay, for the first one, um, you can see a lot of devices that is in the garbage. Yes, it's uh, electrical waste, or we can call it e-waste. E-waste means discarded electrical or electronic devices. And then the next vocabulary, you can see the earth is burning. Yes, we call this process global warming. Global warming means a long term rise in the average temperature of the Earth's climate system. And it is affecting our Earth very much. And the next one. Yeah, you can see a car, but of course, it's not a normal car. Yes, it's in the process of driving green. We call it a hybrid car. And hybrid car means partly electrified vehicles that still rely on an internal combustion engine to either drive the news or charge the battery. And the next one we're gonna learn is um, a kind of energy is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is the energy in the nucleus core of an atom. And the next one is a kind of food. Yes, a lot of people are using this food to um, promote their health very much and we call it organic food. Organic food is food that is produced by methods that comply with the standards of organic farming. And the next one is plastic bag. A uh, plastic bag is a material that is a type of container made of thin, flexible, and plastic film. And the next one is, yeah, you can see a lot of garbage, and it makes pollution really serious. And pollution is the term that is the introduction of contaminants into the natural environment that cause adverse change. And the next word is uh, circle recycling bin. A recycling bin is a container that is used to haul recyclables before they are taken to recycling centers. We can see a lot of recycling bins in our daily life. Yes, and uh, the next one is, yeah, it is also a kind of energy just like nuclear energy. Solar energy is the radiant energy emitted by the sun and in the future we will use this kind of energy more and more. 
Okay, the next one is wind farm. Wind farm is very popular in Europe. Yeah, it refers to an area of land with a group of energy producing windmills or wind turbines. And okay, that's all for the vocabulary session. We're gonna come to the next session that is called language in context. And today we are talking about green products. Green products that be very friendly to the environment. Yes, and now uh, guess why these products are green? Can you? Okay, I will tell you some specifications of these products that make them a green product. The first one is the compact, lower resin libraries. This kind of libraries uses less energy than normal ones and it saves more money. And it's very affordable too. The price for a pocket 3 is $20. And the next product is closed shopping bag. It is very friendly to the environment because it is made of 100% organic cotton and today we are using a lot of shopping bag we don't need to carry individual one to uh, like carry food every day and it is very affordable too the price is five dollar Yes, the next one is Recircle Toothbrush. Recircle Toothbrush is made of 100% recyclable plastic, which comes with a usable travel case. And the price for a pack of six is $20. You can reuse it many times. And the next one is still water bottle. Still water bottle avoids landfills and pollution. And do you still remember the term pollution? Yes, it can uh, reduce the bad impact. It cleaves to the environment and it comes with a lot of design like a lot of colors, red, yellow, and zero. And the price is only $15. Okay, that's all for the language in context part. And now we come to the grammar section. That is quantifiers. We can divide them into two main kinds. The first one is quantifiers that are used with countable nouns. And the second one is quantifiers uh, that are used with uncountable nouns. We're, we're gonna come to the First use of them are uh, quantifiers that are used with countable nouns. There are four main quantifiers. The first one is more. More implies an increased quantity. For example, you can say, I want to learn more lessons. That means uh, only one lesson is not enough for you, and you want more lessons to practice. And the second one is not enough. It has the meaning of need more. You need more than what you have. For instance, there aren't enough taxis. Like if in this area, there aren't enough taxi for people to go. And the next one is too many. Too many expresses the idea of a large quantity being negative. Remember, negative is something that is not bad. Okay, for example, you can say there are too many people in Shanghai. And Shanghai and High Shanghai is a big city. It has a lot of people. And yeah, this is of course a bad thing. Okay, the final one is fewer. Fewer implies a decreased quantity. For example, you can say 
there are fewer on groups than there used to be. Okay, that's all for the quantifiers that are used with countable nouns and as for quantifiers that are used with uncountable nouns. The first one is more. It implies an increased quantity. For example, like, I need more rice. Yeah, the rice that you have is not enough for you, and therefore, you need more rice to eat. Okay, uh, the next one, not enough. Yeah, it also has the meaning of need more. For instance, you can say, there isn't enough food for all my family members or something. Uh, this third one is too much. Too much expresses the idea of a large quantity being negative. For example, you can say there's too much pollution. Yeah, like uh, this area is very polluted, and this is obviously bad. And the final one is less. Less implies a decreased quantity. For example, you can say something like there should be less crime, so the earth would be more peaceful. Yet, uh, and here comes some uh, exercises to uh, practice. Complete the opinions with quantifiers, then compare with a partner. Okay, I'm gonna read individual questions for you. Think about it and find out your answer. And then compare them with your partner. The first question. I think it's good that blah 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 people are buying hybrid cars that help reduce global warming. The second one in my opinion there's blah 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 the waste in our landfills. We need better and safer ways to recycle electronics. The first one is farmers should grow blah 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 organic food I prefer food without chemicals the fourth one unfortunately not blah 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 people use solar power is it because it's expensive the fifth one I feel people should use blah 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 nuclear energy isn't it dangerous the sixth one some people say they don't have blah 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 time to recycle. That's crazy. The seventh one. Maybe it's just me, but I think shoppers should take blah 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 plastic and paper bags from the supermarket. I always bring my own bags. And the final one. Blah blah blah. People throw plastic bottles. In garbage cans, they should use recycling bins. I have a hint for you to do all the exercise here. Just identify the noun and identify if the nouns are countable or uncountable. Then it's very easy to complete them full meaning. Okay, and for the pair work. Discuss the question. Do you agree with the opinions in part A for individual questions in the part A? And give your reason to support why or why not? And then talk with your partner. Okay, that's done for the grammar session. We're gonna come to the pronunciation session. That is stress in compound nouns. Here we have four compound nouns. Listen and repeat after me. The first one. Landfill. 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 The second one. Light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. The third one, travel case. Travel case. Travel case. Travel case. 
Okay, the final one. Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Okay, then read all the words and read it by yourself. And for the pair work, practice on the above compound nouns. Remember to stress the first noun. And that's all for the pronunciation part. We're gonna come to the speaking section. Our community here I have some sample structures for you to talk about environmental problems like there is too much. For example, you say something like there is too much pollution, there is too much crime. And the second one, you can say there is not enough, like there is not enough space for human beings to live in many years later. And the third one, we should have fewer. Uh, we can use this structure to say something like we should have fewer batteries to reduce pollution. And the final one is we should use less something bad like contaminants. For example, we should use lead contaminants to make the earth green again. Okay, that's all for our lesson today. I hope you do all the homework at home to practice what you have learned. Thank you.